Monkeys and apes, two groups of primates that fascinate with their intelligence and agility, but often get mistaken for one another. Yet they're distinct in more ways than one might imagine. First off, let's delve into their physical differences. Monkeys, typically smaller in size, are known for their long, often prehensile tails, a feature completely absent in apes. This tail serves as an extra hand for monkeys, aiding them in swinging from tree to tree in their forest homes. Apes, on the other hand, are tailless. They are usually larger and have a more upright posture compared to their monkey counterparts. Now consider their hands and feet. Apes have longer, more flexible fingers, allowing them to grasp objects and use tools with finesse. Monkeys, while they also have opposable thumbs, their hands and feet are more suited for a life spent leaping and climbing in the treetops. Shifting focus from physical to mental attributes, apes generally show higher cognitive abilities. They exhibit advanced problem-solving skills, can learn sign language, and even recognize themselves in mirrors. Monkeys, while intelligent, don't usually display these higher cognitive skills. The social structures of these two groups also differ. Monkeys tend to live in larger, more hierarchical groups, whereas apes form smaller, more egalitarian societies. Let's not forget their geographical distribution. Monkeys are found in various parts of the world, from Asia to Africa and South America. Apes, however, are primarily located in Africa and Asia. To sum it up, monkeys and apes, while both fascinating primates, differ in several ways. Monkeys, with their handy tails, smaller size, and defined social structures, are a contrast to the tailless, larger, and more cognitively advanced apes. Their distinct physical attributes, mental capabilities, social structures, and geographical distributions set them apart in the animal kingdom. So the next time you see a primate swinging from the trees or using tools with dexterity, spare a moment to appreciate whether it's a monkey or an ape. After all, as we've discovered today, they're not quite the same.